welcome collectors youtubers everyone in between and beyond that i hope you're having a fantastic day so it's that time again san diego comic con 2018 and there's always amazing things amazing things being revealed being shown being introduced things we've never seen before things we've seen before maybe in just the new being able to be seen through a new eye you know what i mean and it's absolutely amazing so uh sideshow collectibles has been gracious enough to show us some amazing uh pieces some figures and arts and statues and collectibles and probably other um booths that are showing some other amazing collectibles too so uh yeah so we're going to check out uh, some videos from the sideshow booth at san diego comic con 2018 let's get it Okay, Iron Studios has been, man, they, I mean, Iron Studios has always been a good company, but they are really stepping it up. I think this year, uh, they, they are, wow, okay, they're, they're pulling no punches. Iron Studios is, is, I'm just very impressed by them. I'm really impressed by them. They have a lot of amazing collectibles, a lot of, a lot of lines that they're doing uh, that just looks extraordinary. Um, I do think Iron Studios, compared to some other statue companies, might lack, uh, you know, certain details sometimes. But other than that, they they're still an amazing company, and they, and they make amazing collectibles. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm just loving what I'm seeing at San Diego Comic Con 2018 this year. Um, I mean, all the collectibles I'm seeing, but you know, definitely from Iron Studios, it looks absolutely wow. Uh, I'm liking it. So uh, you know, they gotta. They got their one Tim scale that looks absolutely amazing, you know. Uh, they got some quarter scale pieces. I don't know if they do any. They might do half scale. I don't know. I, I can't remember if they've done any half scale or any uh, thing like that. I don't even know if they ever did any bust. I could be wrong. I just know of them for their one Tim scale and their quarter scale pieces. Uh, but yeah, they got they got a lot going on. Uh, I know they mainly do. I've seen them mainly do like DC and Marvel things. Uh, those are the two main uh, licenses that I've seen them do the most. Um, I'm sure they have some other licenses where they do a couple other different lines and stuff like that. But those are the main two that I guess I'm also interested in, but also the ones that I see the most. But uh, yeah, yeah, it looks great. It looks looks good. So let's go ahead real quick and I'll give you my top five. Okay, so uh, number five, uh, like I said, this this is all really tough with Iron Studios, but um, I'm going to have to give it to their uh, Avengers Affinity War one-tenth scale dioramas. Uh, I mean, they these one-tenth scale are small, but they pack a lot of detail in them, and they make a lot of characters, and 
If you if you get all the characters and put them together, set them up in a display, it's going to look massive. It's going to look way bigger than what it is, even if it's only a one tim scale. You know what I mean? And it looks absolutely magnificent. All the characters, you know, but um, <clears throat> I mean, and even not just the Infinity War characters. I mean, the, uh, you know, one tenth Aquaman, the one tenth like uh, Ghost Rider. Uh, you know, the one-tenth Dungeons and Dragons, uh, you know, they got, um, the one-tenth Justice League line. I mean, the one-tenth line for Iron Studios, I'm pretty sure is their bread and butter. It's one of their strongest lines, and it looks absolutely magnificent, you know. Um, I'm really thinking about getting a couple. Uh, the thing about it is just that I tend to try to go for, you know, like, uh, bigger scales, but this 110 scale, without a doubt, whether it's for me or not, is absolutely amazing. So, um, you know, and some of them are pretty big, like the 110 scale Hawk, uh, Thanos, uh, Hawk Buster, you know what I mean? Or um, even like the, uh, the Falcon, the wingspan on the Falcon is amazing, you know, or the, uh, the Vulture wingspan is, 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 is still massive, you know what I mean, for 110 scale. So... Uh, it, another good thing about the one tenth scale is that they're pretty cheap. You know, they're cheaper than getting a, a quarter scale uh, statue or one third scale sca statue. You know, they're pretty cheap. Um, a uh, hundred bucks, two hundred bucks. You know, and you can get a couple of them for you know the price of a quarter scale or one third scale. So, uh, yeah, definitely uh, a really strong line. I have to get number five spot to their whole one tenth scales. Okay, so number four spot, uh, I think the number four spot for me, I'm going to have to give to Thanos quarter scale. Uh, the Thanos quarter scale looks massive, looks good, has a lot of detail. Uh, I think the face sculpt looks excellent. I think the Infinity Gauntlet looks excellent, has a lot of detail in it, uh, has a really good pose. He's, you know, um, definitely ready for battle. Um, you know, I I was debating because Thanos quarter scale for me almost was put in the number fifth spot and he almost wasn't even in this top five. And that's just because for me, I'm not a real huge Thanos fan. You know, I do like Thanos. I can recognize Thanos is a force to be reckoned with, uh, but I'm just not a big Thanos fan. Never really was even in the comics. And I don't really like the movie look of Thanos, you know. I like the comic book look of Thanos. Uh, I do really love that um, the sideshow uh, Thanos on the throne maquette. I like that 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 they put their own twist into that. I think it looks really good. Um, but still, you know, this Iron Studios Thanos quarter scale uh, looks looks still looks absolutely amazing. So I, I'm going to have to put him at the number four spot. Okay, my number three spot. Um, whoo, man, ooh, all tough stuff. But I'm gonna have to give the number three spot to the uh, quarter scale Iron Spider. Yeah, yeah, the uh, quarter scale Iron Spider Man. I was trying to think real quick if it's quarter scale, but I believe it is. It's it's pretty big, um, and it looks great. You know, it looks really good. It looks, you know, it has like that uh, metallic style look for his suit. And, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the extra arms coming out his back or stretching out looks massive, you know, looks really good in detail. The pose looks like he's, you know, ready for battle. I just really like it. I, I think their quarter scale line is also good and they're doing a really good job. And, uh, I, I really like this, uh, iron spider, man. Uh, I, I don't really like for me personally, I don't like the design of the Iron Spider-Man in the movie. I would much prefer the original Iron Spider-Man from the comics. I would much rather have that one. Um, and I like how the Iron Spider-Man from the comics only has like the three extra arms instead of four. Uh, but still, this one looks absolutely amazing. And, uh, you know, uh, may consider getting it for, you know, a Spideyverse line. So uh, absolutely amazing, though. So Iron Studios, Iron Spider-Man quarter scale three spot okay my number two spot uh whew. 
Uh, I'm going to have to give it to the Quarter Scale Hawk. Okay, the Iron Studios Quarter Scale Hawk is massive. Okay, I was like debating for a little bit if this was even quarter scale. You know what I mean? Like, because it's just so massive. I thought it might have been like a one third scale or something. I mean, this dude is huge and bulky and just a hulking beast, which I love about it. You know, um, I think he might be a little exaggerated on how big he is and muscular he is, but that's okay because it's the Hulk. You know, the Hulk has, you know, different versions of himself. And generally, if the Hulk is this really huge, massive character, that's okay because it's the Hulk. He's, he could get away with being that bulky and massive. So, you know, it's perfectly fine. Um, I think the, the pose and everything looks pretty good. Um, you know, the base is pretty good. Uh, he's holding a missile, which, you know, I think, I think that's good too. It'd be nice if he had some switch outs, like to where you could switch it to like maybe a regular fist or maybe, you know, he's holding some sort of robot arm, you know, maybe, you know, switch out to something else I think would be really cool. Um, and, uh, Iron Studios have done switch outs with, uh, some of their quarter scale pieces before. Um, I would have really liked a more movie version Hulk or maybe like a, uh, like a, a world breaker Hulk. You know what I mean? I would have loved a version of like that in a quarter scale, but still, this is still an amazing, this, this I, I, I'm not sure if this is straight from a comic book look or just Iron Studios putting their own twist on this hawk but either way I think it looks really good my only gripe so far from what I can see is probably the head sculpt um, I think the face might be pretty good but for some reason I just don't like how the hair is and everything he has like a like a bowl like a bowl cut you know and his head just looks like a a little square like his head to me looks like a Funko Pop head I don't know why uh, you know, I may love it more as more as I, you know, see, see more of it. Uh, but still, I'm a Hawk fan, obviously. Got Hawk in the background. And, uh, you know, I, I need me a big, massive Hulk statue. So this could be the Hulk statue for me. I don't know. So, uh, but either way, I'm very interested to see more about this. I'm very excited about it. Uh, it's very massive. I love that massive size. And I'm going to have to give the Iron Studios Hawk quarter scale the number two spot. Okay, the number one spot. Uh, and this was tough. You know, I was juggling him around between number one and number two spot. Uh, but I'm going to have to give it to uh, Lobos on his bike, on his motorcycle. I mean, this piece is extraordinary. It has a lot of detail, a lot going on. And to me, it's more of a, like, diorama piece. You know what I mean? He has, so first of all, you know, Lobo himself looking good. Uh, a lot of detail on them. Uh, then you got the motorcycle, which looks amazing. A lot of detail on that. But in so you know they could have left it right there. You know, put Lobo, put the motorcycle. You know, uh, and they could have been done with that. Everybody would have been like, man, this looks great. We love it. But they added a little bit more to it, which doesn't take away from it at all. You know what I mean? Uh, sometimes they say less is more. With, you know, which can happen, but with this one, more is more. Like, this this looks magnificent. You know, they got, so they got the dog hanging on the side of the motorcycle, which everyone loves, you know. You're going to have Lobo on the bike. You might as well have his dog, you know. Uh, then you got Lobo kicking an alien in the face. You got blood and teeth shooting out, which is, you know, classic Lobo. You got to be, you know, uh, brutal. And then you have uh, him dragging in the exhaust flames of the bike, he has his chain with the hook and another alien dragging him behind him, which is straight savage. And that's all Lobo. That is 100% Lobo, brutal, savage, fierce, you know, don't, don't take orders from nobody, does what he wants to do, you know, the bounty hunter of bounty hunters. And I absolutely love it. I love this whole design of this Lobo on a bike. Uh, I think it's absolutely great. And I'm really interested in seeing more about it. I don't have any Lobo statues or anything Lobo collectibles, and uh, I never was a big Lobo fan, uh, but I still love the look and concept of Lobo, and this might be the Lobo, uh, you know, collectible for me, you know, because uh, it looks absolutely magnificent. I think this thing is really super cool. Now, I don't know if this is quarter scale. 
um, or what it is. It didn't. It didn't say. I'm gonna assume it's quarter scale. I mean, I don't know. It could be a really big one temp scale. It's hard to say uh, because it's a lot going on, and it's hard to say how big Lobo is because he's sitting on the bike. Now, if Lobo was standing up, we could be, you know, be able to tell better if it's quarter scale or one tenth scale. But either way, looks absolutely amazing. I'm gonna have to give my number one spot to Iron Studios Lobo on a bike. All right, guys. Well, uh, yeah. Thank you for stopping by, checking out. Uh, with me, the uh, Iron Studios collectibles at San Diego Comic Con 2018. Uh, I'm glad SciShow was showing us a lot of these videos uh, and be able to uh, give us the online Comic Con for people like me who is not able to go. Uh, if you're at San Diego Comic Con, you know, hope you're having a lot of fun. You know, wish I was there. Uh, you know, maybe one year. I'm definitely on my bucket list before I fade away from this earth. I'm going to go to San Diego Comic Con. You know, I've been to New York, uh, New York Comic Con. I've been to, you know, Comic Cons around the world. I've been to a Comic Con in Japan. You know what I mean? And it's like, uh, I, I think I need to go to San Diego Comic Con. So that's on my list. But uh, anyway, you know, hope you have fun. Thanks for, uh, you know, checking out these videos with me. Uh, but yeah, you know, um, you should already know all the buttons you should know how to hit. Okay, you want to become a dark collector, you're going to have to collect like one or be at San Diego Comic Con. And uh, yeah, collect to live, live to collect. Peace.